Jeff Lightman joined right now by Kemper head coach Keith Stickrod. And coach, you told me before the game that if your good team shows up tonight that you guys will be able to pick up the win tonight. I take it your good team must have showed up. Yeah, they played a nice long game tonight. Yeah. We always knew that. You know that. <laughs> coach, uh, you guys are off to a little bit of a good start early in game one, but it seemed like every time you get up four or five, uh, that Green County get on a little mini run, a two or three run to kind of cut it to a two or three point game, just not able to pull away until kind of midway to late in that first game. Yeah, they were really consistent cards of uh, covering and stuff at the good top. Uh, Coach, I know uh, it was, Carla Kenobi told me that you guys tried to work on over the last several days uh, that kind of odd hits that Jefferson does, the cross court, the different kind of hitting style that they have. Uh, how did you feel like your team defended that tonight? You know, it's always a challenge. They're a little different. Uh, Absolutely, it's just not a lot, but we did a pretty decent job. You know, we just really worked on that, but uh, I know we got North Point coming up, and who knows how that would hit. How quick will you get a chance to be able to study North Pole? Uh, right away, I get home tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Keith, uh, offensively, quick start for you. It seemed like Claire Ludwig was that kind of the goal tonight. Get your leading hitter going and just kind of feed off that energy level. Oh, it's anybody. I'll take anybody anytime. We got a lot of good hitters, and you no, know, it's not always playing with anybody out there. Uh, middle tonight, how did you feel like the middle played? I thought you got some pretty good play there. Yeah, I thought Maria stepped up real nice. Defensively, North, or excuse me, Green County did not have a lot of blocks coming in tonight, but they really defended the net pretty well. How did you feel like your team adjusted to them getting their hands on a lot of a lot of attacks? Yeah, we just keep swinging. That's the main thing. You know, you get frustrated as hitter, but we just keep swinging. And, you know, that's what we're doing. Coach, didn't really have to call any timeouts tonight. Did you just kind of let your leadership time to take control out there for you this evening? Yeah, you know, I think we're a dire need at all, and I just felt like I'm on the show, and, you know, he'll need it. <laughs> Did you like the energy level your play club played with in the third game tonight? You no, know, I, I still think it went up and down, but I still want that energy uh, higher throughout the match. You know, and, you know, even being set three, I thought we still like a little bit. You know, just keep it up. Where do you feel like your club still needs to improve, uh, especially with the regional final coming up? You know, it's just going to be consistency. Like I said, all year long, it's just consistent from set to set, and from point to point, uh, value everything. You know, I don't know how value everything. Coach, the surprise that uh, you're facing North Polk in the next round. I think everybody anticipated a, a Raider night matchup. Well, like I said, I thought that top half was anybody came out of that. I guess, you know, it's an any given night. It's going to be the best. And, you know, we got to do that too next Tuesday. It's going to be fun. Well, Coach, appreciate you joining us here in the postgame. Congratulations on the win tonight. We'll see you Saturday morning for the Coach's Show. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Head Coach Keith Stickerod again with the Kevin Knights. We'll